Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I gotta say, I already told you. I told you guys in that um in my DC Black History Month um video that DC was going to fast track the LGBT stuff. They made damn sure they had this shit ready. Look at it. It is not even it's not June. We got three more months. What? Yeah, almost three months. And they already throwing out the solicitation and saying, look, is DC Celebrate Pride of 22 with um, new anthology titles, including Tim Drake, Teen Justice, Poison Ivy, and more. And I, I'm, I, it's every goddamn week is a new LGBT bullshit going on up in here. At some point, y'all got to be like self. This is too much. This is too much. As as from as from Kill versus Baby say, Face say all the time. Manga, stop laughing because that's what manga is doing. That is what anime is doing. They're laughing at y'all. This is ridiculous. This mess is ridiculous. And Stephanie Brown need to come up in here and kick Bernard in his goddamn face. Throw his ass off a building and be like, no, no, my, my, my dude, this my man. Stephanie, where you at? Come and get your man. Don't let him get hypnotized by stupidity. Bernard ain't been, been around in almost 10 years. And now all of a sudden they want to bring him back. And now all of a sudden he, he want to be in a relationship with your man. Come on now. Stephanie need to be upset because realistically, that's not how this works. She should have been kicking his ass. She should have been kicking... Both they asses. This is this is getting ridiculous at this point. So let's see. It says DC annual Pride anthology return with um a new hundred plus page added um edition in May. Are you kidding me? In, in May? In May? Pride month is in June. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? But y'all asses couldn't get y'all Black History shit together. What the fuck? And is it an International Women's Month or week, whatever? Where's the celebration of women at? That, it, it, mm, ooh, crickets, crickets, crickets. But you and Marvel couldn't get y'all Black History shit together and cancel some of your black your black books. But you can make sure you get this bullshit ass pride shit out. Ooh. See, and I know somebody gonna be like, "Oh, you being no? I'm not being homophobic." I am I am upset because I know that they're just pandering, and I kind of find it. I find I kind of find the hypocrisy of it all is where oh we're for we're for diversity and inclusion, but the the shortest month of the year where we celebrate celebrate black people, y'all didn't have y'all barely had anything blackout for Black History Month. And then all this stuff was quote unquote delayed, and the stuff is coming out later. And you barely celebrated any of your black characters. <laughs> but you can make sure you can celebrate all of this where you took half of the half of these straight characters and made the quote unquote LGBT. Aqualad, when you first introduced, had a girlfriend, was into his girlfriend. Now, when they did the new 52 reboot, oh. He's gay all of a sudden. Even though in the in the cartoon shows we we were seeing him interested in women, now all of a sudden, he, um, we jump five years into the future and he's with a man because y'all did a YA talking about oh you bring me the ocean, you bring me you brought me the ocean and stuff like that where the book looked like full of cum all over the damn pages because it's supposed to represent water, and then you decide to make him gay because reasons. Then Nubia, here we go again. Even though she had a hus, she, even though she had two husbands in the 1970s and 80s, but no, 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 forget that, forget that. Just like you did with Alan Scott, was married for a long time and still was married up until y'all said, "Hey, you know what'd be cool? Let's make Alan Scott gay, even though he has a son that's gay and that we pretend like doesn't exist." And then JoJo Mulligan. Came out of nowhere because most people thought Far Sector was a graphic novel that was outside of continuity. Then you bring her into the main continuity with no buildup. 
And now she's the bestest. She's the bestest Green Lantern ever. And she's the greatest detective in all of the multiverse. Batman would like to have a word with you, Jojo. Apparently she's bisexual. Um, non-binary flash. I'm not even about to I'm not even about to jump on that talk that topic because it's, it's it's dumb. I'm just gonna be honest. It's it's stupid. So next one. Um Tim Drake, 32 years have all of his solo run and not once have he ever made an inkling to liking dudes and i don't want to hear nobody talking about oh well you know coming ain't nobody talking about real life experience to people who've been reading these characters for years that's the thing that people forget that these characters had stories it'd be different if they didn't have stories y'all never want to take original lgbt characters and bring them and bring them to the the forefront you have to take classic you have to take classic um you have to take classic straight characters and you have to make them lgbt because reasons you know what i'm saying and then superboy john kent it should never happen because tom taylor told y'all that he specifically did this just to get some brownie points and y'all still think that is cute that ain't nothing cute about that it's dumb it's lazy and it needs to be tossed in the trash can. And then, and then, of course, DC also announced we'll, we're going to also be publishing new young adult graphic novels because those things sell well. Um, and four new comic book titles in June featuring Poison Ivy, Nubia, the Teen Justice League of Earth-11, and Tim Drake. How much you want to bet that half of the Teen, teen Justice League characters are, are LGBT? Because, you know, reasons. Reasons. But, you know, people swear up and down, oh, it's no propaganda, it's not pandering, it's just showing the real world in real life. Nah, nah, I'm getting about tired of this whole, oh, we oppressed and ain't nothing right or whatever and stuff like that. <laughs> Shit, y'all y'all more um, oppressed than, than um, my actual diverse minority people at this point, even though every, every day there's a new rule or new coming out story or new character or whatever and stuff like that we're oppressed the world hates us and stuff like that no the world doesn't hate you the world is aggravated at this point because it's getting overblown and then of course dc's um pride 2022 the um 104 page prestige format com um comic will be published on may 31st featuring an introduction by transgender right activist and supergirl actress nicole uh, means uh, with the teaser of her upcoming DC project. She's probably going to do a young graphic novel about Dreamer. Okay, so featuring the main cover by Phil Hernandez, which, oh my God, Phil Hernandez, um, you guys waste him. You guys waste him. His his work is fantastic um, for, you, you know, this was even before I even knew he was gay, to be honest. Um, when I was little, I used to see his work, and then when I started personally follow him more and more and more and stuff like that. That's when I discovered, but that's neither here nor there. I never really cared. His work was fantastic and stuff like that. If I could, I'll slice his hand off and attach it to mine so I can have his um his drawing skills. That's just my opinion. That ain't nothing. That ain't got no hate um, towards Phil Jimenez. I have a few of his omnibus of his work. It is amazing, except for, you know, um, whoever did your, um, whoever did the coloring and inking and Wonder Woman Historia need to get fired because it didn't do, it didn't do good. It didn't do, it didn't ma mesh with Phil Hernandez, beautiful artwork. Um, but that's just, that's neither here nor there. I'm just saying. Um, so here are the stories. Here are the, here are the stories that are, that are in here. Um, Alisa Young and Batgirl, they're probably doing that because the Batgirl movie is going to introduce this character and, you know, they want to be the first at this one. Aquaman and Jackson Hyde, of course, because, you know, Jackson Hyde, Green Lantern, Jojo Mulligan, of course, she's in there, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. Break them up. Leave it alone. Don't ever mention them being together again because I'm, I'm sick of them. I'm sick of them. They are probably, they are, they are, they are toxic at this point. They, they, they burn my skin every time I see them together. <laughs> like I, I am usually a guy that is for girl and girl action. Um, but it ain't this one. It ain't this one. There are better girl and girl characters out there. It ain't Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. I can definitely tell you that. 
um, the Ray, which we haven't seen that one, that character in forever. Superman, John Kent, uh, okay, sure, whatever. Um, Tim Drake, yeah, whatever. And um, and then in Ju- then in June, see, that's what I'm saying. All of Pride Month is in June, but yet they haven't shit ready for May. And, and they haven't stuff ready for May, and then they're gonna do more things for June. <laughs> but again. Y'all can't get y'all black shit together, though. Y'all can't get y'all black characters together. And you can't even give them a... a, a, You can't even give a few of them long-running titles. And I'm not talking about Dakota shit. I'm not talking about... Excuse me. I'm not talking about the Earth M stuff. Because at this point, it's not even attached to the DC Universe. So until those characters start crossing over, that's not in void at this point. And besides, most of them stories suck. So, you know, so, of course, um, we're going to get four new titles, Poison Ivy, of course, um, and then we're also going to be getting, well, so basically, this one's going to have um, Ivy leaves Gotham City to set out to give the world a gift to heal the damage humanity has done to it. Okay, all right. I hope um, she become she goes back to becoming an eco-terrorist again. Thank you. Um, Nubia story continues um, in Nubia Queen of the Amazons, a new four-issue limited series. Are you kidding me? The first limited series was trash, and now you're going to give her another one? Get out of here. And it happens right after um, May's Nubia um, coronation special. Come come the fuck on, man. Get out of here with that one. And, of course, on June 14th, Tim Drake's Bullshit ass um, journey continues in DC Pride. The Tim Drake special, sixty-four page one shot. Um, basically, it, it, the special collect, uh, for the first time collects the high-profile three-part story. No, it that wasn't even that. Was, oh my god, that was pandering. That was a pandering profile story. It was garbage. It was garbage. I don't care what anybody said. Oh well, you know, at least it wasn't rushed. It was stupid because we haven't seen Bernard in such a long time. And the last time, Bernard was with a girl. We ain't seen that character 10 years plus. And we saw Tim Drake. And we we just, we just, they had just set him back up with Stephanie Brown. So that's why this shit don't even make no sense. This is why this stuff is disrespectful. This is why it's pandering. This is why I don't believe anybody who's talking about, oh, this is amazing that Tim Drake. No, it is bull crap. Jesus Christ. At this point, just put, just put Tim Drake out of his misery so we can never talk about it. Because look, you see look look at Stephanie. Look at Stephanie. She y'all see y'all see the way Stephanie looking at looking at him. She coming for that ass. And I don't blame her. I come for him too. Going to sit up there and break up with me after we done went through all this bullshit to get back together and then here you come dating dating the male friend that we ain't heard from in 10 years. Get out of here. Get out of here. Stephanie, it's okay. They're knocking. You, you have my permission to knock Bernard off. Knock him off. And if he dies, he dies. Oh, well. Oh, well. Get your man back. Get your man back. And finally, they um, also debuting um, June 7th, Multiversity Team um, Justice. And it's going to have the return of Future State um, Flash Kid Quick Jess Chambers. DC first non-binary character, who the fuck cares? And other heroes from gender swap Earth multiverse. I, 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 I'm telling you, they about to, I'm telling you, almost all of them are about to be LGBT. All of them are about to be LGBT. It might be one of them that might be straight. Because they like to do this bullshit. Like, who cares about Teen Justice? It wasn't interesting the first time. Like, who cares? Just, I mean, some some people might care, but come on, get get your regular universe together before you start doing all this multiverse stuff. God, hey, Jesus Christ. Um, and then um, <laughs> okay, they talking about um. In addition, they're going to be um previously announced Galaxy, the prettiest star. From writer Jazz Jazzinen Axrod and artist Jess um, Taylor will um, be published in May 17th. The character will be first introduced in one of DC's free comic book day titles, and it serves a preview of the young graphic novel um, about Taylor, an alien princess disguised as a human, 
um, a human boy in a story about gender identity, romance, and living truths. Oh my fucking god! Or 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 here here's how we do this instead of that bullshit. What you just said because that's just overcomplicated and being stupid. Make her or her. Period. Why you gotta do all that stuff? Marvel already did that and did that successfully, but y'all doing this on purpose. And it's and I already know it's not gonna be a good storytelling. It is stupid because you're just like, so why should just become a her? Why would you purposely dress up as a male knowing darn well you're not a male? Like, no, nobody's you got too many of this LGBT stuff. No one cares about gender identity in their comic books. They don't. Manga, stop laughing. That's what they're doing. Y'all need to start telling stories about these superheroes and stop with this bullshit because that's what it is. It is straight bullshit. And you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Like, this is this is ridiculous. This is this is ridiculous. You're, you're going too far. You're going too far. Like, all you're doing is taking the uh, the relationship of LGBT people, you're pandering them out, you're whoring them out for a few months just to bring them back out when you need to make some sales or whatever, and then toss them aside. Notice how there aren't any original LGBT characters. Barely. The only one, I think, is Ray. And everybody else been what's been been changed to LGBT except for two of them. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. My God, what the fuck? Oh God, look at it. This, the gay. Oh Lord, have mercy. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we know what our where their priorities is, and it's not is not for comic book fans. It is definitely not for comic book fans. And then, of course, DC has a a selection of backlist collections and new collections featuring LGBT characters coming in the next few months. In the next few months, but again, they can't get shit together with their black characters. They can't get nothing together with their black characters, as. They missed deadlines for their black characters, but they made sure they had their, their LGBT shit ready. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> the hypocrisy of it all. The hypocrisy of it all. Holy, holy crap. Y'all have got to be Got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Oh my, oh my Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh man, Jesus Lord have mercy. What? Oh, uh, okay. Okay, let's see. I think Marvel also has one too. Let's 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 look at Marvel at Marvel stuff because I know Marvel got one. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Oh, see, <laughs> I thought so. I thought so. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, look, Young Avengers. Remember when that team used to be good before they said, "Hey, let's make almost every let's make everybody on that team gay," and then the books got canceled. <laughs> the same thing with the Runaways. The Runaways was a great story, and then the, and then all of a sudden, ha half the cast just went from straight to gay or bisexual, and you're just like. Okay, and we're out, <laughs> and we're out. Like people, like it, it. It don't make the sense. God gave. Look, the Young Avengers re reunited for this, um, this June's uh, Marvel Voices. Like, okay, <laughs> okay. Marvels was like, well, shoot, if DC's announcing it, we're about to do it too. <laughs> God dang it! Oh Lord have mercy. Let's see what else. Um. Mm -mm. So remember in last year's volume, they uh, introduced a brand new character, um, Somnus, who stars in the ongoing X-Men series Marauders. Ooh, wow, Marauders, Somnus. Ooh, the character that nobody cares about. <laughs> um, this year, Charlie uh, Arthur Charlie Jane Anders will introduce a new hero, 
um, to the Marvel Universe who like Somnus um, will be seeing again. Oh, here we go again. And that's what I'm saying. They Here they go again, creating another one. This don't make the sense God gave. You cannot keep introducing new LGBT characters every month. Every month? Come on now. This don't even make no darn logical sense. This don't make the sense God gave. Y'all can't keep doing this shit. <laughs> it is because <laughs> it's, be, it's becoming it's becoming jaded. And I understand I am um, having these moments, but I really do care about Marvel and DC characters. And there are some good classic LGBT characters, which I will do a video about the ones that I like that I want marvel and dc to do i'll do I, maybe i'll do a separate one you guys will let me know down in the comment section after you know probably chewing off my head for going off but i i have to i can't this is this is ridiculous at this point <laughs> okay so other stories include moon uh moon dragons complex history for a heart bending story across space and time we haven't seen moon dragon in a long time to be honest um, Andrew Willard makes his Marvel Comics debut with Hercules, a Hercules story by Brit. Oh my God! Yes, I forgot. They decided, hey, let's take the Greek hero Hercules and make him LGBT because reasons. Even though you know Disney has a Hercules, there's Hercules: The Legendary Journeys. This shit don't make sense, and DC has a Hercules. All of them are with. Women, here you go. Oh, you know, let's make ours different and make him LGBT because reasons. Don't nobody want to see that? They don't. I, I just don't understand. You, you, you took a character that had history in your universe and you decided that you needed to, even if it was hinted at or whatever, it's one of those things that you, you just don't, you don't touch it. Don't touch it. No one asks for you to touch it. And then, of course, writer um, Alyssa Wong reunites in, um, the Young Avengers in a story illustrated by artist Stephanie Bryan, guaranteed to please fans of old and new. Um, if half, if you, if you remove, if if we um, bring back the Young Avengers before that reboot for Marvel, now sure, but we already know you're not going to do that. So at this point, I don't even know what we even doing. Then you know what I'm saying, you know. <laughs> and then. Um, it will also feature Rick and Morty's writer Grace Few will tell a story about the power of responsibility starring the character character the publisher calls Marvel's favorite gay ginger, D-Man. You know what? Get the fuck out of here with that. Get out of here with that. <laughs> Danny Lauren revisit the a legacy of two characters um, long left in the closet in the tale of love and redemption. And television writer and podcast Ira Madison will explore the legacy of pride in his Marvel debut. In addition, Marvel Voice Trade Back goes on sale May, collecting last year's anthology, as well as powerful moments throughout Marvel history, such as North Star Wedding and the debut of Aaron uh, Fischl. Uh, plus, Marvel reveals 22, um, 22 Pride Month um, variant cover program, which includes a total of eight covers. Oh, oh, sweet. Oh, my sweet mother, mother of God. <laughs> um. Aaron Fisher, Captain America, Central of Liberty, number one by Lucy, um, Lucaro um, Vero. Um, Marvel, DC, I'm going to need y'all to do, a, do me a favor. Stop hiring Lucario Vasero. He's a good illustrator, but not for comics. Not for comics. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I am sorry. When I tell you his work looks stereotyped, it looks stereotyped. The characters look gay as hell. And and get granted, these are LGBT characters. But seriously, seriously, come on now. Y'all get y'all get some of the most gayest artists. And and they gay him up for real. They don't even they don't even look like serious artists. The only one is Phil Hernandez. And I want to see more people like Phil Hernandez doing doing this kind of stuff. Then to actually get people that draw in a stereotypical way of making the characters look all fruit, fruity and feminine. Jesus Lord. 
Um, Dokken, X-Men number 12, okay, Valkyrie Thor, uh-huh, Somnus, Avengers Forever, number 7, Iceman, Marauders, Viserio, Destiny, Immortal X-Men, um, Carmen, New Mutants, and American Chavez, Thunderbolts, number 2. Oh, my God, look at that. That looks terrible. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, my Lord. Okay, that that's that's not bad, though. Uh, oh God, it, it is, it is, it is just, it is, mm -mm, nope, he's too gay for life, <laughs> oh hell no, <laughs> just, just, just no, just no, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, I like this, this definitely looking good though, um, okay, all right, Uh, America Chavez, yes. I'm glad y'all y'all decided to make sure y'all just keep the character, you know, in the booty shorts and stuff like that and stop playing. God, and no offense, um, I'm not trying to, but it really does, it really looks like right here, the head is a little too small, and this part of the, this part of the face is out just a tad bit further out. Maybe it's the rendering or the coloring, but it makes it look like that, but that's just... That's just my opinion, but yeah, um, I understand. I, I mean, I again, this is no shade because, you know, I've been I've been at art schools. I live in a state that has a lot. Well, that you know, I don't see them, but you know, it's Georgia, so you know, you get what I'm saying. But this is ridiculous. This is this is this is ridiculous. It goes too far into uncanny territory and it's just one of those things where it's just like i keep trying to tell you remember most of your audience is what say with me class straight white and male sorry y'all don't like it that is the truth that is the factual truth so when you keep taking characters that people have been reading for years and all of a sudden swap them or you keep doing celebrations, or you keep coming out of nowhere every other month, it loses its value, and it gets annoying. People get aggravated, and then people start walking away. People are walking away from this stuff. Y'all can pretend like they're not, but people are walking away from this stuff. People are walking away from this stuff, and again, there is China, and there is Japan that is feeding us delicious Oh, in South Korea, delicious stories from movies, shows, music, books. I don't know what to tell y'all, but this this gotta stop. This this got to stop, and I mean for real, stop this right now, because this is this is aggravating, and it is a little disrespectful as a person, as a you know a person, a, a minority person, to see. That y'all made sure y'all had this pride shit together, but y'all couldn't make sure y'all had y'all black stuff together. Hmm. Hmm. Because if that's the case, where's where's some solo runs at starring black characters at? No, 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 not ensembles. What what the only one is Black Panther? I just Where's Luke? oh oh yeah I forgot you canceled Luke Cage stuff hmm interesting interesting hmm hmm Monica Rambo oh crickets crickets right 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 Storm no no Bishop oh no no Bishop hmm oh yeah no she she's not even that damn important I don't even think they even remember that character uh let's see John Stewart. Yeah, he he's in Green Lanterns, but you know he lost his powers. So as good as that's gonna do for him, Vixen, I don't know. I, I don't know. The last time she was in something, you know, they destroyed the character by making her have her her tongue like a giraffe to lick some paraplegic um girl because reasons. Um, you do have the Dakota verse, yeah. and. <laughs> But they, since they're not connected with the DC Universe, who cares? Miss Terrific? <laughs> we ain't seen him since the Terrifics. Let's see. Who else? What other characters can we can we just, you know, pull out? 
Cyborg, he's he's on the Team Titans. He's on the team. He's on the Titans United. Um, not Titans United, but um, the Team Titans Academy. And that's that's hot trash. But him being a solo character is hot trash anyway. But you know, that's neither here nor there. I'm just, I'm just being honest. Where where is Steel at again? <laughs> we haven't seen Steel in, in since Superwoman Rebirth. <laughs> But we can make sure we get these LGBT characters out, though. <laughs> we can make sure we can take a character that's been canonically straight for some time and make them LGBT. But we can't make sure we get our black stuff out, though. <laughs> oh Lord! And the fact that the fact that the, the fact that Marvel and DC right now are focusing on their brand new LGBT characters, the characters that they turned LGBT instead of their classical LGBT characters, is hilarious. But I mean, hey, it is what it is. I don't run these companies. They do whatever they do. But hey, you guys tell me what you guys think comes below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.